गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट रेडियो एक्टिव ट्रेसर एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज टू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो अ रेडियो एक्टिव ट्रेसर इज आल्सो कॉल्ड अ रेडियो ट्रेसर अ रेडियो एक्टिव लेवल और आइसोटोपिक लेवल सो बेसिकली इट इज अ chemical compound which is used in two ways one to trace the path of biochemical reactions two to track the distribution of a substance within a cell so what does that mean to understand its uses first we should know how radioactive tracer works that means its working principle okay so we know that a radioactive tracer is nothing but a chemical right now a chemical is made up of atoms in this case an atom of this chemical compound is replaced by an isotope and this isotope is radioactive this process is called radioactive leveling now we can trace the presence of this radioactive labeled isotope how because this radioactive isotope emits radiation which a normal atom cannot and this emitted radiation can be detected by radiation detectors such as kegger counters scintillation counters etc now let's talk about its two applications which i have already mentioned okay suppose we have glucose so this is the formula of glucose and we know that it has six carbon atoms so we can replace this carbon atom by a carbon isotope now we can check how does it behave in glycolysis because we know glucose enters glycolysis analysis of what happens to this radioactive carbon will provide us detailed information on the mechanism of glycolysis now let's talk about its second application suppose we have a cell and we have this compound so this compound is radio labeled so in this case we have used nitrogen 13 n13 so we can introduce this radioactive compound in this cell and we can find images and predict where this radioactive labeled compound is distributed like if it is distributed in cytosol in nucleus or in mitochondria etc in this picture we can see that the radio labeled compound is distributed in cytosol okay now there are many such tracer isotopes 
For example, hydrogen 3H, carbon 11C, 14C, nitrogen 13N, oxygen 15O, fluorine 18F, phosphorus 32P, sulfur 35S, iodine 123I, 125I, 129I, etc. Hope you enjoyed my lecture.